Hello friends, I am Gauram Mokpana. I welcome you all to my another video tutorial Biotech Guide. So, uh, in today's video lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, types of biosensor. In previous, we have discussed on uh, mainly components and the mechanism and application of biosensor, where we have discussed uh, brief uh, idea about uh, how biosensor work. But uh, in today's video lecture, we will going to discuss about that types based on uh, the types of analyte and the biolo uh, biological recognition element. So stay tuned with us and enjoy this video lecture. Before start, uh, let's get take a brief overview about the principle and the mechanism of biosensor. So the principle is working uh, uh, of biosensor involves the interaction between a biological recognition element and a target analyte to produce a measurable signal. That measurable signal is converted into a detectable signal via transducer. After that, amplifier amplifies this measurable signal and then uh, this signal is measured and quantified and they detect via processor and last uh, result is given in the number uh, in the form of a number so this is the mechanism basically on the basis of uh, types of analyte and their uh, recognition element uh, many types of biosensor are there in today's video lecture we will going to discuss about these uh, five types of biosensor let us discuss one by one. First, enzymatic biosensor. This biosensor uses enzyme as a biological element to catalyze a reaction with the target analyte, generating a measurable signal, and the signal is then converted by the transducer, uh, transducer into a quantifiable output. Example is glucose biosensor, where glucose oxidase is a biological recognition element and glucose is analyte. So what happened here? Glucose oxidation. So basically, glucose molecule act as analyte and the uh, glucose uh, oxidase act as a biological recognition element. When glucose interact with a glucose oxidase, what happen? Gluconic acid and the H2O2 produce. That H2O2 is quantified by processor and uh, result is uh, uh, resulted into the uh, number so basically this is the mechanism another colorimetric reaction is the detection step uh, basically uh, converted h2o2 is react with uh, react with a peroxidase enzyme now here peroxidase uh, use h2o2 hydrogen peroxide to oxidize a chromogenic substance and converted into a oxidized product this uh, this color product or color change is proportional to the glucose concentration and can be measured by spectrophotometrically. So basically, this is the GOD POD reaction, and uh, this is how uh, enzymatic biosensor work. Second, immunosensors. Immunosensors employ antibodies or antigen as a biological recognition element. When the target antigen or antibody binds to the recognition element, it triggers a signal that is transduced and measured. And the example is pregnancy test, where uh, HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin, which is the hormone, acts as a protein, which is a biological recognition element, and urine is the analyte. The pregnancy test strip contains uh, two sides where on the first side, test membrane is coated with anti-HCG and other side uh, coated with uh, against labeled anti-HCG. So basically when urine having a HCG, so what happen? Uh, HCG react with this antibody and given uh, in the output like this and if not urine uh, is without HCG. So only the last strip having a signal so that indicates the woman is not pregnant so this is the simplest mechanism behind this immunosensor third dna biosensors 
डीएनए बेस्ड बायो सेंसर्स यूज सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए और डीएनए एप्टामर्स एज द बायोलॉजिकल एलिमेंट दे डिटेक्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री डीएनए सीक्वेंसेस और स्पेसिफिक टारगेट्स कोजिंग अ सिग्नल टू बी जनरेटेड एंड मेजर्ड एग्जांपल इज सार्स कोवी टू डिटेक्शन वेर प्रोब डी एन ए इज द बायोलॉजिकल रिकोगनाइजेशन एलिमेंट एंड सार्स कोवी टू इज द एनालाइट सो बेसिकली इन दिस डी एन ए बायो सेंसर मेकेनिज्म इज वॉट द पी सी आर ओके पी सी आर प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व सो इन पी सी आर प्रोसेस वॉट वॉट हैपन द आर एन ए विच इज एक्सट्रेक्टेड फ्रॉम द सार्स कोविड टू एंड देन कन्वर्टेड इन टू दी ए सी डी एन ए एंड दैट सी डी एन ए सर्व एज ए टेम्पलेट फॉर एम्पलीफिकेशन ओके सो नेक्स्ट स्पेसिफिक प्राइमर शॉर्ट डी एन ए सिक्वेंसेज डिजाइन टू मैच द सेगमेंट सार्स कोविड टू जीन्स सच एज दी एन ई एन आर डी आर पी जीन्स आर यूज सो दिस प्राइमर एन्श्योर द ओनली द सार्स कोविड टू इज आर एन ए एम्पलीफाइड ओके नाउ द पी सी आर प्रोसेस इज इन्वॉल्व वर हीटिंग एंड द कूलिंग डी नेचुरेशन एनिलिंग एंड द एक्सटेंशन एंड एंड एट द लास्ट अमाउंट ऑफ सी डी एन ए विच इज डिटेक्ट डिटेक्ट एंड द क्वान्टिफाई वाई गिविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ इंटरप्रिटेशन लाइक पॉजिटिव इफ द रिजल्ट इज पॉजिटिव सो फ्लोरोसेंस क्रॉस इज द थ्री शोल्ड विद इन द सेट नंबर ऑफ साइकल्स इट इंडिकेट्स द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ सार्स कोविड टू आर एन ए कन्फर्मिंग इन्फेक्शन बट वैन द रिजल्ट इज नेगेटिव दैट मीन्स फ्लोरोसेंस डज नॉट रिज द थ्री शोल्ड इट सजेस नो डिटेक्टेबल सार्स कोविड टू आर एन ए मीनिंग नो इन्फेक्शन और लेवल बिलो द टेस्ट डिटेक्शन लिमिट अदर डिटेक्शन एंड सिग्नल इज सिटी वैल्यू इज इनवर्सली रिलेटेड टू द अमाउंट ऑफ अ टारगेट आर एन ए इन द सैम्पल लो सिटी वैल्यू दैट मीन्स इंडिकेट्स अ हाई वायरल लोड एज इट टूक फ्यूअर साइकल टू रीच द थ्रेस होल्ड एंड हाई सिटी वैल्यू दैट मीन्स सजेस्ट अ लो वायरल लोड एज इट टूक मोर साइकल्स टू रीच द थ्रेस होल्ड सो दिस इज हाउ डी एन ए बायो सेंसर वर्क नेक्स्ट फॉर्थ ऑप्टिकल बायो सेंसर दिस बायो सेंसर यूज लाइट बेस्ड मैथड टू डिटेक्ट द टारगेट एनालाइट दे मे बी बेस्ड ऑन एब्जॉर्बेंस फ्लोरोसेंस और सर्फेस प्लाज्मा रेसोनेंस टू मेजर द चेंजेस कॉज्ड बाय इंट्रेक्शन बिटवीन द बायोलॉजिकल रिकोगनाइजेशन एलिमेंट इन द टारगेट एग्जाम्पल इज फ्लोरोसेंस बेस्ड बायो सेंसर फॉर डी एन ए डिटेक्शन वेर सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डी एन ए इज ए बायोलॉजिकल एलिमेंट एंड द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री डी एन ए स्टैंड इज ए एनालाइट एंड द प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड दिस ऑप्टिकल बायो सेंसर इज वॉट फ्लोरोसेंस डिटेक्शन सो बेसिकली दिस टाइप ऑफ बायो सेंसर यूज इन जेनेटिक टेस्टिंग फॉरेंसिक एनालिसिस पैथोजन डिटेक्शन वेर द बेसिक बेसिक मेकेनिज्म इज वॉट Uh, the complemented DNA strand is hybridized with the probe, and the fluorescence signal increases, indicating the, indicating the uh, presence of a target DNA. So this is how optical biosensor work. Next, last, electrochemical biosensor. Electrochemical biosensor measure changes in electrical properties due to biochemical reaction occurring on the sensor surface. They can be amperometric, potentiometric, conductometric. depending on the type of electrical signal used example is cholesterol biosensor where uh, uh, cholesterol oxidase enzyme is a biological recognition element and the cholesterol in the blood sample is the analyte so basically cholesterol esterase enzyme is uh, uh, used to convert cholesterol ester into free cholesterol and fatty acid now this uh, free cholesterol is again oxidized with with cholesterol oxidase and converted into cholest 4 in 3 1 plus h2o2 now again that pod reaction h2o2 uh, plus chromogenic substance peroxidase enzyme use h2o2 to convert chromogenic substance into a colored product plus h2o so this is how uh, mechanism is happen electrochemical det- uh, detection where the oxidation of h2o2 produces an electrical current that is directly proportional to the amount of h2o2 and therefore to the cholesterol concentration so this is how electrochemical biosensor work let us take brief overview about uh, this all five uh, biosensor 
their biological recognition element and the analyte. So first, enzymatic biosensor. Glucose oxidizes uh, biological recognition element and the glucose is analyte. In immunosensor, human coronary gonadotropin is a biological recognition element and urine is analyte. DNA biosensor, probe DNA is a recognition element and SARS-CoV-2 is the analyte. In optical biosensor, uh, antibodies specific to a cancer biomarker uh, is the recognition element and uh, PSA or a biomarker for a prostate cancer is a analyte. Then uh, cholesterol oxidase enzyme is the recognition element and cholesterol in the blood sample is the analyte. Uh, let us discuss other uh, five. Physo, uh, physoelectric biosensor uh, example is quartz crystal microbalance biosensor where single stranded DNA is the recognition element and the complemented DNA or RNA is the analyte. Thermal biosensor where bacteria, bacterial enzymes or metabolic uh, activity is the recognition element and the bacteria is the analyte. In microfluidic biosensor antibodies against the surface marker or of the tumor cells act as a recognition element and circulating tumor cells or from the blood is the analyte. Whole cell biosensor where the genetically modified yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae is the recognition element, estrogen uh, endocrine disrupting uh, chemicals ERCS or other hormones act as analyte. Then uh, nanomaterial biosensor antibody specific to the target protein is act as a recognition element and the protein uh, protein like cancer biomarker cytokines uh, these are the analyte. So this is the types of biosensor, the recognition element and the analyte. So here we completed our video. I hope you enjoyed very well and got it very well. Thanks for watching and if you want to get more and more videos regarding like this, uh, click the bell icon, never miss an update. Thank you so much.